mushrooms. Mushrooms are always a delicacy among foods. They are a rich source of vitamins, proteins and minerals. They grow in dead and decaying organic matters and in fact they are fungi. They spread over the substratum using filamentless tubular structure called hyphae. On favorable conditions, it puts forth the fruiting bodies, what we call mushrooms, to release millions of spores or the seeds. To have good quality of non-poisonous mushrooms available all throughout the year, we started cultivating them. Today, it is one of the rare enterprises where we can see multitude of entrepreneurs from million dollar investors to small cottage industries. In this section, we shall look into the cultivation as well as pond making of Pleurotrus, the oyster mushroom and Calisagi, the Mickey mushroom. Oyster mushroom it got its name from its oyster-like shape. They are cultivated in organic ways such as back paddy straw, leaves, etc. The substrate has to be sterilized first. It can be either done by boiling or by chemical pasteurization. In chemical pasteurization, 7 point grams of carbon dacium and 50 ml of formaldehyde is required to make 100 liters of soaking water. The substrate is dipped in soaked in water and weighed down for 16 hours for proper sterilization. <laughs> The soaked paddy straw is taken out and allowed to drain the excess water and spread in sterile plastic sheet for surface drying. After drying, they are used for preparing beds. For making beds, we require polythene bags. Polythene bags are filled with five rolls of paddy straw with mother's bone spread in between on the outer edge close to the bag. and 50 grams of spawn will be enough for one bed. After filling the bag, it is tied with a jute thread with a hook attached to it for hanging the bag. Remember, before doing anything, get your hands sterilized. Keep the implements nearby. Don't mess with things. Do slowly and steadily. A pin should be used to give small holes in the bag. Around 35 to 40 numbers are enough for a bed. Incubation or spawn run stage. Prepared beds are kept in clean dark rooms, specifically maintained for this purpose. The rooms should have fresh air supply for few minutes every alternate day. The spawn run will be completed in 10 to 25 days. 
successful spawn run can be seen with good healthy beds full of mycelial growth on it. A sharp sterile knife may be used to make small incisions onto the bed through which the mushrooms can grow out. The beds with proper spawn run are transferred to the cropping room with sufficient moisture, aeration and proper lighting. Beds are hanged in frames with inner space in between for fruiting and for operations. The beds have to be sprayed with water. On the third day, a small fire module is about to grow and in 48 hours it will be ready for harvest. Harvesting is done by twisting and don't do it by cutting. Harvesting can be done in morning hours before watching the bed. should be properly washed and beds with such incidents should be removed immediately. Beds, if gets infected, will have black growth of fungus like trichoderma, coprinus, etc. Some insects like springtail and other flies may also affect the mushroom bed. Yes, to avoid this, you need to have a good hygienic mushroom house. Mushroom houses are made in a minimum size of 24 feet by 16 feet. It should have close ventilation with two chambers, one a dark room for spawn running stage and the other a well lit cropping room which is partially divided into two cropping chambers. The humidity in the rooms can be controlled by a room cooler and a hygrometer. All the doors should have double doors. One the usual one and the other one with the net for preventing insects. There should be complete hygiene in the rooms and any person in entering should have his hands and legs clean with potassium permanganate solution. 